In the previous training video on task constraints, we talked about how you can apply a constraint to a task start or finish date, like start no earlier than September the 1st, finish no later than September the 15th. When you do that, you limit the flexibility of your project. But again, we already discussed that. If you still want something to indicate of when you're supposed to finish a task by, just a little icon, but that it won't affect your scheduling, you can use what are called task deadlines. And a deadline can only be applied to one task at a time. So you could start up here and apply it to that as an indicator of when this task is supposed to be completed, and then progressively move it along as you go through the tasks in your project. So this is how you apply it. Just go ahead and double click on any task, come to the advanced tab just as you were going to set up a constraint type, but instead up here we want to set a deadline. Go ahead and type over that. In fact, this task is supposed to be completed by September the 19th. Let's say that our deadline was supposed to be September the 15th of 08 and hit enter. Well, a couple of things happen. First of all, over here in the entry table, we got a little red diamond, an indicator that tells us that the task finishes on the 19th, which is later than the deadline of the 15th. That's nice that we got an indicator. Again, it's just a warning. It doesn't affect the scheduling. So you can go ahead and change the duration days, add resources, which we'll cover later. The more resources we add to a task, the more workers, then the earlier that task is supposedly finished or completed by. It doesn't affect it at all, just a little indicator. Also, you got another indicator over here in the Gantt chart, little green arrow. You can see it's right here on this day and that the task goes beyond it. You can hover over it. Again, it tells you the deadline of September the 15th. Now, having said that, later on when we assign resources, you'll still get pop-up scheduling conflict alerts when your task is going beyond a deadline like it is here. Those alerts, again, they're just for you, nothing more. It's not going to affect your scheduling at all, so you can cancel or continue with the alert and you'll still be fine with your scheduling. They're just little flags for you, that's all. Now to get rid of your flags, you can come over here, of course, double click on it, go to the Advanced tab, and again, delete that and type in the letters NA for not applicable, click OK, and it'll disappear. Click OK, and it's gone. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.